It's the Eagle Community Television Forum with your host, Gary Shorman. Hi everyone, I'm Gary Shorman and this is the Forum on Eagle Community Television brought to you by Hayes Med. We're going to talk about water conservation here today. You know, we always talk about it in a sense of what are we going to do, but we have the gentleman that's going to help us do that. And his name is Jason Regal. And Jason is with, and it's called, the Conservation Specialist here right. in Hayes. That's right. Thanks for having me, Gary. Welcome to our program. Thank you. Thanks for having me. What caused you to get into water conservation? Uh, well, you know, I, I spent 12 years with the uh, City of Lawrence uh, Department of Utilities, um, and that's a very conservation-minded community. Uh, and, and, you know, they, they were kind of known as the state leader, uh, you know, in, in water conservation issues. Um, so when the opportunity came on to, to come aboard, uh, I decided to jump at it, and it's a pleasure to be here. Well, the nice part is you somewhat are coming home. You grew up in Great. That's Bend, right. That's right. And your wife grew up in Stafford County. Stafford County, yep. Farm girl. And, and so you realize the importance of conservation. But Absolutely. I was surprised when you mentioned that Lawrence was so conservation minded because yeah. they have a river that's runs right. through it, yeah. so it's, to speak. It looks like there's a lot of water it, in Lawrence. It, it's a different situation water wise, um, but being you know such a green city, um, uh, you know the focus is on on green living uh, in in Lawrence, uh, and that you know uh, being around that has has spurred my interest in and being conservation minded. So what did you do in Lawrence when you were at the city there? Were you in conservation or was, I was that a part of what you did? No, that was kind of a part of what I did, uh, but I was in operations. I started out as a wastewater operator, uh, water and wastewater operations, and then I kind of moved to uh, the technical side, uh, kind of working with the control systems that mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know turn on and off, pumps on and off uh, based on set point, uh, SCADA systems, computer aided electrical systems, stuff like that. So. So, you know, most of us that you go in and just turn on our water. Yeah, and you don't realize all of the nuts and bolts and parts and computers stuff that, that goes go on. Yeah. How computerized is a water system? So when Very Gary Shorman so. turns on his water, what all happens to get the water to Very our Very much water? so. Uh, every, you know, on on the back end, an operator, which are you know the Hayes Hayes water plant staff twenty four seven. Um, you know, they're staffed twenty four seven to to make sure that 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 water is clean and safe to drink and safe to use for for you and your family, uh, and and you know they can see pressure drops. They know when they know what halftime during KU basketball game. They know when people are hitting the hitting the button. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my guess is there's all of a sudden a, a big sound across uh, the yep, city yep. of Lawrence when that happens. Probably Hayes too, if yep. that matters. So when you look at doing water and you and you look at conservation, obviously there's a difference between Lawrence and Western Kansas because just of the lack of resources of right. water, and so conservation becomes very important. What are the things you look for? And you've been in your job now three to four months. What mm -hmm. are the things you're looking for in areas that we can improve? Well, uh, you know, indoor water consumption is, you know, everybody knows they need to conserve outdoors. Uh, water less, use that water as efficiently as they possibly can. Uh, indoor water use is sometimes a kind of a forgotten thing, you know. Uh, uh, people don't understand that, you know, 40% of their water consumption goes down, you know, goes down the drain uh, uh, through toilets and, and bathtubs and whatever else. Uh, and using that water as efficiently as possible it is important. Um, and I'll use that opportunity to, to kind of publicize some rebate programs that mm -hmm. we're running for, for 2014 uh, for toilets, high efficiency toilets, uh, high efficiency urinals for businesses and, and commercial and institutional schools and stuff like that. Uh, and, and also washing machine rebates, um, which is a long standing program in the city of Hayes, uh, popular with residents. Uh, people take advantage of that. Um, and we've had had good luck. Well, while we're talking about those, what 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 are the specifics when you say a washing machine rebate? Uh, yeah. What 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 are the specifics? There of is that? there is a a uh, uh, group called the Consortium for Energy Efficiency, mm -hmm. and they rate machines based on how efficient they are, how much water it takes to, to wash a cubic load of lo a cubic foot of laundry, uh, and, and they also do energy uh, energy efficiency. Um, but we're looking for tier two and tier three washing machines and those are rebate eligible for, we'll rebate $100 on a purchase of a new one of those. Um, is there an age kind of thing if your washing machine is over 10 years old? Or yeah. Over 100, if over 100 years probably. For, yeah, 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 100 years, you might get a new one. Uh -huh. uh, get that old washboard out with the, <laughs> the uh, uh, yeah, 10 years, you know, is, is, you know, lifespan of a washing machine. If you've got an old, inefficient one, you know, and you're looking for, looking to upgrade, uh, you know, we would, we would definitely recommend a well, tier two know? to tier three. How do you know? Is, it, is there a mark on your machine that tells you that, or do you well, have to call it would be, your office? Well, well, it would be hard to tell how much water an older top loader would be using. Uh, you could do, uh, you know, 
I mean, I guess you could get touch five gallon bucket and try to figure it out, but it, you know, uh, it, it would be hard to tell how much exactly it's using. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, a high efficiency machine can can cut your water usage down drastically. And you know, as long as you're filling it up, you know, that's something that we kind of stress is is you know, don't don't run a load, don't just wash your socks, pair of socks. You know, fill that thing up and and uh, use it efficiently as possible. When you talk about some of the other items like lofo, uh, toilet, shower heads, all that sort of thing, how do customers find out more about the, the units that are and the units that aren't? And well, it just seems like it's confusing for a lot of people. Yeah, they can go to hazeusa.com and uh, click on the environmental and water programs link mm -hmm. and then go into the water conservation part of that. And that will kind of that will give them the rebate application, some frequently asked questions about the programs, uh, eligible models, water sense, uh, is an EPA program that, uh, that that tests efficiency and durability of certain water efficient of any water using product really. Um, so that's kind of the, the, the thing we look for uh, in urinals and toilets is uh, water sense, a water sense label. Now you mentioned going to that website for doing that. Hayes has been a, a real leader in, in water conservation. They have, yes, yeah, been going on for a long time. And so you're coming in, and in fact, you mentioned that Lawrence was looking at Hayes for ways to yeah. be able to do that as well. What more can you do, or what more can residents of Hayes do? Because it looks like the consumption based on across the state is really pretty good for Hayes. Yeah, um, it's, it's, you know, Hayes is, and that was what surprised me when I first started in the position was uh, uh, residents' knowledge, customers' knowledge of of, of water efficiency and water conservation and how much people already knew because it's been going on for a long time. Uh, it's been a long-standing effort uh, uh, within the community, um, and and you know, but but we're and we're good. We can be great. We can be. We can do better. Uh, and you know, it's, it takes uh, educational outreach, uh, getting the getting the kids when they're small and and getting in their minds. You know, and, and small stuff and big stuff. Uh, outdoor water use is a big thing. Uh, uh, use a lot of water. Indoor stuff, you know, and the small stuff that, uh, that, uh, that, that my kids can do. Shut the tap off when you're brushing your teeth, you know. Uh, don't waste it if you don't have to. I know when you look at water consumption, there is that lifestyle thing that you, you can brush your teeth without water. Yeah. So how do you judge and how do you tell the story of saying, okay, you use the right amount of water and not excess and yet use enough so that life doesn't just become like toothpaste without water? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. That's a, that's it's challenging it's getting into that role, yeah. and, and you know some things don't make a difference. So like a low flow toilet, right, doesn't make a difference. No, no. If you have a shower head that only drips, that's not much fun to take a shower either. No, I right. That's yeah. a coaching aspect that I believe you probably have to do. Yeah, and and, and yeah, especially public education. You know, uh, uh, the old uh, three gallon a minute shower head. You know, I mean, if, if you if you go to city hall and pick up one of our uh, our free you know low flow shower heads, uh, trade roll one in, get a new one. It's they're good, man. They're it's it's it makes a big difference on your water bill, uh, and it makes a big difference toward uh, the future of our water supply. Now, do you also go and look at some of the the heavier users in town and people that are using a lot of water in some instances? Um, and 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 I'm not talking residential, but right. Sometimes a, a low flow shower head doesn't make up for a lot of the the real heavy use. Yeah, of water yeah. That, that's area. something that that is kind of in the future of of the conservation specialist position is is uh, getting into water audits. Uh, going into uh, manufacturing and, and commercial facilities, and and you know trying to suggest ways that uh, they can save water that are beyond toilets and toilets and urinals, you know, um, uh, cooling towers, uh, you know, uh, other ways. There's there's a lot of ways to save. My guess is you'll be looking at all of those. Yes, hopefully so. Yeah. Our guest is Jason Regal, and Jason is a water conservation specialist here in Hayes. We're going to come back and talk about how he's going to tell that story to residents, other than great programs like this, but how he's going to tell that story to residents and how he's going to get around to different people in the community to talk about water conservation in Hayes. You're listening to The Forum Program. We'll be back with more after this. Youthful body, tight tummy, smooth facial lines. Greystone Cosmetic and Reconstructive Surgery is here to help you achieve your goals and give yourself the new look you've always wanted. Greystone offers sophisticated surgical and non-surgical cosmetic procedures. With services now available locally, there's no need to wait any longer. Contact Greystone Cosmetic and Reconstructive Surgery at Hayes Medical Center today or online at greystonecosmetic.hayesmed.com. 
It's a beautiful day in our super high-speed internet great customer service neighborhood. Like you, this is where we live. In fact, our company is employee-owned, so it's our goal to improve the quality of life for everyone in our community by delivering faster, more reliable internet, clearer, more feature-laden phone service, and tons of high-definition TV channels, all with a level of customer service and value you'd expect from people who are your neighbors. Eagle Communications, our community connected. Welcome back to the second half of our program. We're talking to Jason Regal, who is a water conservation specialist here in Hayes. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, ideas, send them to me, gary.shorman at eaglecom.net. Also, chase, chase us down on Facebook. You'll find us there under ECTV Forum. Our program is brought to you by Hayes Med. Our guest today, Jason Regal. Jason's new to the city of Hayes, but not new to Western Kansas. No. Going back to square one, why did you get into water conservation? I mean, there's a lot of things when you're going to KU that you can do. Why was water conservation well, exciting? Well, it, it was something that interests me, uh, you know, based on Hayes' history and the success that they've had, uh, I'm excited to be on board to continue that success, uh, uh, to get the word out to residents and, and, uh, and, and help them conserve. Because, you know, Hayes is in a unique place in, in that, uh, you know, the, the rainfall, and like we talked about Lawrence's, uh, you know, the surface water that's mm -hmm. in eastern Kansas. Western Kansas is so much different. We rely on alluvial aquifers, um, and and you know, uh, excited to, uh, you know, keep keep the keep the success rolling that the city's had. When you look at coaching people in town mm -hmm. to be able to be more conservative, how will you go about doing that? What kind of programs will you be doing? Uh, well, we're we're uh, going to start a an educational outreach program, uh, the, and the nuts and bolts aren't set on that quite yet, but uh, and we'll, we'll target. Uh, you know, seven to eight year olds that are, are first starting to learn about the water cycle uh, and, and the importance of water um, and, and the finiteness of water, you know. Uh, and, and the nuts and bolts aren't, aren't quite tightened on those yet, but that's something that we're looking at for the near future. I'm guessing there's some resources on doing that, and I like your idea of, of coaching kids because to some extent they're the ones in that next generation. Right. When the water gets to be, the water supplies get to be less and less. Right. Uh, where we go there. Are you involved at all with the, I guess, the hunt for new water? Will that be a part of your job as well, or not, is that in some other areas? Not yet. Yeah, I'm not, not involved in that yet. Um, uh, you know, my, my main goal for the position is to extend what we have, uh, uh, you know, train people, you know, coach people mm -hmm. to uh, conserve as much as they can of what we have. Uh, and, and if new supplies come on board, um, then... We'll deal, with that. we'll deal with that. Now, you mentioned there's free water head for shower heads. If yes. somebody trades in their own, what else can they get through the city? Uh, they can get faucet aerators uh, for their faucets, uh, uh, which are available at City Hall. So and those are free. Uh, shower heads, we have one, uh, two free options and four or five options that are $5 each with trade in. So what you'll do is you'll take your old shower head off, uh, spin it off, take it to City Hall Finance Office at 1507 Main, and, uh, and the gals up there will help you with a new one. I hope there's a whole flood of shower heads that come nah, in, you so know, do I. right so in there do I. to do that. And you know, do that, that's kind of the main goal that behind that thing is to get them in people's hands, and you know, that's that's what we're trying to do. Let me ask this as well, because someone may be watching, wanting to know more, have a little more information, or even better yet, have you or somebody from the city uh, come and talk to their civic group, their youth group, uh -huh. their church group about conservation Absolutely. and where the city of Hayes is in relation and what we can do. How do they find you? What's the best way to go about doing that? Well, they can contact me at 628-7350, uh, or they can go to the, our website, hazeusa.com, and there you'll find toilet information about toilet rebates, urinal rebates, shower head programs, aerator programs, stuff like that. You know, my wife is looking for a new washer and dryer. She may be looking yeah, for a rebate, absolutely. too. Yeah, absolutely, and, and washer and dryer rebates. Yeah, I've got to mention those. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's another yeah. thing. Yeah. Get that in there. Well, Jason, thanks for having you on, Thank being you. on the program. Thanks for inviting today. me. Jason Regal has been our guest. He's a water conservation specialist here in Hayes. Look forward to more coming from him as we look for ways to save water in our community. Our program is brought to you by Hayes Med and by Eagle Communications. Our community connected. Youthful body, tight tummy, smooth facial lines. Greystone Cosmetic and Reconstructive Surgery is here to help you achieve your goals and give yourself the new look you've always wanted. Greystone offers sophisticated surgical and non-surgical cosmetic procedures. With services now available locally, there's no need to wait any longer. Contact Greystone Cosmetic and Reconstructive Surgery at Hayes Medical Center today or online at greystonecosmetic.hayesmed.com.